students how are you welcome to english bhavan class 8 are you enjoying holidays and online classes i hope all are you doing well at home and reading well preparing for classes which you have given for homework after homework and uh, you are doing your good okay well come let us to lesson and uh, already we have discussed the first unit a reading and b reading now i i hope you are you understand the lesson very well you have given a uh, you have a clear uh, understanding about the lesson i think you are doing uh, i hope you are doing well okay it's good now before going to a reading or c reading over before going to learn reading c that is a uh, lesson i want to ask you a question first of all all of you close your eyes yes close right i think i closed okay i am going giving you a question just listen who is your best friend understand and then remember all your friends close friends just call out your their names in your mind okay good open your eyes oh nice okay i uh, just you already you uh, you know all our friends well you have close friends and best friends see uh, nowadays due to pandemic this covid 19 this condition we are unable to meet each other we are unable to even taking shake hand also so that how can you communicate, communicate our friends and relatives and all can you say students say how can you meet them how can you communicate them right good yes we can communicate through whatsapp uh, yeah, message or email a phone call see within second fraction of seconds you can meet them easily through phone call whatsapp twitter email message and all this right okay apart from this any other communication is there can you yes any other communication these are past communications mobile phone and uh, uh, this uh, email or uh, po posting or uh, whatsapp and messaging that that rather than that any other uh, communication to contact your friend yes how can you contact your friend yes right letters through letters right letter writing okay we can write letters to our friends your relatives and all are uh, very uh, frequently are writing letters nowadays this, this technology developed well no need of writing letters very simply very short and easy way we can communicate them easily within fraction of seconds right uh, so because letters are very uh, slow uh, uh, communication it is very slow if you write a letter to your friend it takes minimum 3 days or 5 days or one week but a phone call or any other message within seconds right so nobody likes to send letters anyhow the letter services are there in india uh, that is postal service right okay yeah, yeah, yeah. can you write can you write did you write a letter to any any time to your friend see uh, of course i think you are you did not write any letter to your friends or uh, your relations or any other one in my childhood days in my schooling and uh, my college days mobile phone are not available there was not available there so that i used to write letter to my friends and when i was in college uh, studying i write, i used to write letters to my mom and dad see after uh, after my education this mobile arrived right so now easily we can communicate parents and all our family members whoever we like to contact that is right so children uh this letter writing is very slow process uh nobody likes i think you no know, none of you uh did write any single letter to your parents or friends or any other person i think is it is it correct okay see let us see uh this letter so uh, before going uh, see in under c reading we have a letter right uh, a letter to your friend see heading what is uh this letter what is this uh, name of the uh, lesson a letter to your friend right that is we in this uh, part 
under this lesson we have directly letter only itself right letter only itself no uh, lesson uh, a lesson is in the type of in a form of letter that is letter to a friend children can you say how many types of there in letter uh, letters what are the types of letters can you say yes or no yes i think you know well of course if not just note down just children note down what i am teaching in the class no uh, while i am teaching just you note down the topics main points it's good for you and you can remember very easily uh, the topics right so write the uh, topics uh, write the main topics main points while teaching right students good good now uh, types of letters there are two type two types in letter writing we have two forms one is formal letters and second one is informal letters formal letters and informal letters formal letters means official letters or business letters that means uh, uh, you can write uh, of office letter, official letters application letters business letters letter to editors uh, or bookshop a uh, bookshop owner and so on so others if those are all official letters request letters complaint letters so they are all under formal letters now you got formal letters means official business letters right and next informal letters those are called personal letters those are called personal letters right personal letters means those are we can write family members or friends relatives see those are personal letters formal letters are they have some conditions uh that means uh, uh, we are not uh, free to write our own ante formal letters mana ishta sa radan ledu konni forms untai conditions language states uh, so on so we should follow some rules and regulations for informal letters that are, that are, those are friends letters we can write anyway because you can write your mom your dad you can scold them you can uh, feel their expressions very easily whatever you like you can write in formal letters in formal letters in personal letters but formal letters need not what the topic you want to say that only you have to say in a polite language style right that is formal letter in formal letter now you got idea about letter writing that is formal letters official letters business letters that are those are and the informal letters belong to personal letters that is your friends family members relations and all that is type of letter but we have under series it is the same as we have a letter here a letter is in the form of lesson a lesson is in the form of a letter see letter to a friend this is a letter is this is a lesson can you say what type of letter it is this see what type of is this letter letter to a friend what type of letter formal or informal right yes it is informal because this letter is below uh, is a friend's letter already here in, in the in, in the heading itself friend a friend to a, a letter to a friend so it is informal letter that is that means a friend is writing letter to a friend a friend is writing writing letter letter to a friend so letter means uh, this uh, in letter writing we have two persons one is main is sender another one is receiver sender means who writes the letter receiver means who receives the letter sender means one who writes the letter receiver means one who receive the letters ante sender raase vaadu uttar pampe vaadu untadu and the one is dan andukune vaadu ukkuntadu that is sender and and receiver who is the sender here who is the writing of the letter who are writing the letter who is the writing this letter can you say end of this lesson we have the name ramesh who is writing this letter ramesh and uh, who may, who is receiving letter or to whom ramesh is writing see children look at the page in your lesson page number 15 here suresh is receiving the letter ramesh is writing a letter to suresh so ramesh and suresh are friends understand ramesh and suresh are friends ramesh is writing to letter to suresh writing a letter to suresh ah see from where ramesh writing from where ramesh writing see yes from hyderabad see children whenever we write a letter just right side of the top of the right side we write our our own our place name 
that you write date. Here, Hyderabad and the date mentioned here. That is, whatever the letter you write, just place from, from place. And the current letter Rasta Namo, Yepu Rasta Namo, Manorasa place to date where? Top of the right side. Right? This is Hyderabad. This letter came from Hyderabad to Suresh. And uh, this personal letter, but official letters, that means formal letter, from address is right side, and then here two address. Left side, top of the right side, from address, top of the right, left side, two address. Children understand? Top of the right side, from address, and ever letter is written. Top of the left side, two address, ever address is written. That is formal letter. But in the informal letter, it is personal letter, just only top of the right side, just we name the, uh, we write the name of the place, where we write, from where we write. And to address is end of the page, left side. End of the letter, lost, left side, we can write the to address in a box. That is personal letter. That is the difference between personal letter and uh, official letter. That means formal and informal. Yes, now you have an idea. And now come to the lesson. This is a letter from Sur uh, Ramesh to Suresh. Uh, just children listen carefully, write the meanings and you give, uh, you can uh, note down the main topics and uh, I, I am giving the clear explanation about uh, that is uh, graph, graph wise, right? Now, dear Suresh, this is Ramesh, I apologize for not meeting you during your visit to Hyderabad last week. Unfortunately, I had a meeting in my office. I remember how we enjoyed our childhood days in Maniponda village. Every day we played together in our garden. Our family was very big. There are 12 members in our family. I remember how we played in the moonlight. Our grandma used to give us roots and biscuits. Our grandpa used to tell us fairy tales about the princess, warriors and the village boys. This is the first paragraph. Children, listen carefully. Ramesh here feels sorry. Apologize means excuse for Shamakanaksha. Means when I do it, not. Our name Sureshni. This is Ramesh. Starting along on the Ramesh and Neno. In just another, feel out that I apologize. Sorry, feel sorry for that. Why uh, uh, Suresh went to Hyderabad? Suresh visited Hyderabad. He, he informed Ramesh to meet meet him, but Ramesh was unable to meet Suresh. Some because of his job problem, I think. So, so Ramesh felt very sad. Today my friend came. I did not meet him. Uh, so, he felt sad. So, the, he, he offered uh, apologize. He write a letter to his friend. Then, he said, I am going to tell you that I am going to tell you that I am going to Sorry, I So, Suresh went to Hyderabad. Ramesh is living in Hyderabad. He was unable to meet Ramesh. Suresh. So, he said sorry to Raya Suresh. Why? Um, the, um, that day, Suresh was a meeting in his office. Emergency meeting was in the office. So, Suresh was, uh, Ramesh was unable to meet Suresh. So, this in this para, Ramesh remembered all his childhood days. First para, Ramesh remembered all his childhood days. How he spent childhood how he spent uh, uh, with Suresh and all this he remembering. Once he remembered, uh, Are Suresh, we enjoyed a lot in childhood days. Where is Suresh living? In Maniponda village. Ramesh and Suresh both in childhood spent in Maniponda village. They belong to Maniponda village. They, they, their uh, nativity is Maniponda village. That is small village, Maniponda. Both they together lived there, studied there, uh, brought up there. So that Ramesh remembered all his childhood days in Manipanda village. Now Ramesh living in city. Do you difference between city and village? Do you differ the difference between uh, uh, village and city? Which one you like? City or village? Some of you like village. Some of you like country atmosphere. Some of you like city atmosphere. Uh, I like city only because uh, city facilities are available. So myself uh, prefer to say like city. But uh, for, for for good health, village is very good. For healthy healthy atmosphere, it uh, village has healthy atmosphere. So anyhow, uh, whatever it is, 
Ramesh living in the city, he was busy with his office work, office meeting, so he was unable to meet Suresh. So that he once again he remembered all his childhood days, and that childhood days he is writing letter. Suresh, we spend in a Manikota village very happily in those days in childhood, and we we, we played together. Our um, we have a big family. In Ramesh family, there are there are twelve members. We have big family, twelve members. Uh, we played together and moonlight. Do you know moonlight? Bamma pranam padata game. Do you know bamma pranam game? In moonlight, night days uh, and evenings, uh, night times. And in my childhood, I used to play bamma pranam. That is and uh, that moonlight. Uh, our grandma used to give us fruits. And those uh, and also he remembering his grandma and grandpa. Tata ya mama ne kaapko yes mama. A mama is giving used to give biscuits and chocolate. Uh, that uh, what say biscuits and fruits and grandpa used to tell fairy stories tata ye kadal jeptu unde vaadu amma biscuit sevistu untundi so i like uh, those days i remember we enjoyed a lot tata ye princess warriors and village boys tata ye tells about the stories of rajkumar chetra rajul kadalu avanni cheptu unde vaadu yudhavind kadal jeptu unde vaadu i remember a lot we enjoyed a lot in money kondu that is all about first paragraph so suresh remember childhood days with suresh in his uh, in this letter so first para explains about the childhood days of suresh and ramesh together understand that is all about first para and come to second paragraph now i am working at microsoft a software company hyderabad as a computer programmer i am married and we have a child my wife works at dell hyderabad as sister analyst You know, city life is quite busy. We start in morning, leave our child, child at a baby care center, and came back in the evening at faded faces. We hardly find time to sit together. How disgusting! We work with computers, think like computers, and live like computers. We have forgotten our family. In this paragraph, Ramesh tells about his busy life in the city. He was very busy with his job. What is Ramesh? He was a computer programmer. What is Ramesh? He is a computer programmer in Hyderabad, a software company that is Microsoft. In a Microsoft company, Ramesh working as computer programmer, and also he got married. His wife also working as system analyst. His wife has working as system analyst. In a Dell, Dell means is the name of the company. D A L Dell means name of the company. So both wife and husband, this Ramesh and his wife together works with computers. Their life is computers. So the they are quite busy with the job, with their job, and they had uh, got uh, they got a baby, uh, child, the child, a boy. Uh, this boy, his son was very. Now uh, in the morning. They started from their home. It busy, busy schedule, and uh, they drop the child at baby care center. Do you know baby care center in cities? Baby care center is small kids caring center. Do you know before LKG and UKG they have a baby care centers in cities. So they drop the child in baby care center, and evening while coming to home, they collect the baby and come to home. That is their day life schedule. So they have no time to sit together and talk to each other. वाले कुर्चर मार्टर के टाइम पर उन्हें बाटा मॉर्निंग के लिए रंटे माला इवनिंग बस तारो बेबी ने बेबी के सेंटर पे वाले बाग ने उसे पेटले वेल तारन मार्टा सो दिस इज अबाउट द बिजी लाइफ ऑफ रमेश मिस्टर रमेश बिजी लाइफ अंडरस्टैंड बिजी लाइफ ऑफ मिस्टर रमेश एंड आल्सो द व्हाट द लाइफ Family life, kutumbu to spend yeh dem gora walik busy er mata. They have no time to spend with the family, with the child, and uh, and with other uh, family members like mother, father, and brothers. They have no time to invite them also. That is a busy life. So this second paragraph, Ramesh explains about his busy life, his job life in Hyderabad in his company. That is that is second paragraph. First paragraph uh, talks about childhood days. Second paragraph talks about busy life, job life. And come to the third para. I remember we played gilli danda, hide and seek, and kabaddi. We went for swimming in our local tank every Sunday. 
Here we live in an apartment where there is no room to play. Our flat is our world, just like a well for a frog. The world remains unheeded. Here, I remember how we played gilli danda. They are used they, in childhood days. They used to play gilli danda. Do you know that gilli danda in Telugu? Uh, something we say. Danga calls like that. And then hide and seek. Hide and seek means dagudu motal and kabaddi. They are used to this. They used to play these games. That is gilli danda, hide and seek, and kabaddi. And also they used to go swimming in local tank. Local tank means the ground of Cheru. Cheru English tank. Local tank. While money for the village on the Cheru of Willie, one do swimming case only that to Nevada. In every Sunday, every Sunday they used to go to that uh, local tank and uh, they, they used to swim. Uh, now they have a small apartment. In that apartment, they, they, live in that, they are living in that apartment. There is no room to play. There is no place to play. They, they never come to out. Only in the apartment they are living. Morning to evening, busy life outside, out, out in the office. And then came to home, need to sleep. No time to coming out also. No place to play in the apartment. So, in this way, Ms. Ramesh uh, explained this. Just uh, a well for a frog. Just like a well for a frog. Like a babilo kappa. You know that jatiya? In Telugu, adaptations. Bavila kappa, just like a well for a frog. And the Bavila kappa la gunta vra. Man bite kappa chime teri do job kalta vastam kante. Yavar the relation la jee pisi. So it is about the remaining unheeded. What is unheeded? Ignore. Prapanchane match poya mra. Prapanchane prapanchane kuchh jaise pisi dilo me manna mani. So in third para, uh, Ramesh explained the. His uh, uh, feelings in childhood games. In his uh, childhood games. Childhood sports. And come to the uh, fourth paragraph. How happy we were in our school. We used to sit in the same room. Did all the work together. Took part in events. I remember how Padmanabhaya sir, our class teacher, appreciated us when we got the first prize in district science fair. I remember how we went to picnic to Koyal Saga. There we went voting. Our tour to Sri Salem was memorable. Still, I remember the green hills of full trees that almost touched the sky. I remember the roaring of Krishna River at the dam. There is nothing here. I wonder at my child's silence. He always sits in front of the computer and plays games, never caring for anyone. Here, Ramesh feels sad about the schooling. When he was schooling, in this paragraph explains about the schooling. When he was school, both they were both they were who Suresh and Ramesh sit together in the same row. That is, which row? Same row. That means where they sit, they used to sit together. Uh, that one, what, what you say? In the same okay, what's the question now? They they are uh, work together, and uh, they, they, their life was very happy. Their school life was very happy. And also, he remembered one happiest moment, happiest incident, happiest event. That is, they took part in the science fair. They got first place. They got prize in science, district science, district level. He got the uh, science science fair. He got prize. So his class teacher, who is his class teacher? Padhanabaya sir. Appreciate them. They praised him. Athani mechukoni. Valaka Bahamati chad. In the science fair, they got first prize. Science fair, first prize. They got master garu. Or class teacher garu. Mechukona. Name for Apuna. Sometimes I also remember my school teachers. Primary teacher and high school teachers. Both I remembered and feel very, oh, how is my sir? He, he liked me very much. Uh, because I like English in my school days. So my teacher always appreciate me. Very good, very good, very good. So that I was, uh, very, uh, sometimes I remember that, I felt very sad, very, very happy. My class teacher name is Anjali uh, when I When I was in ninth class, uh, he was my sir. He, he liked me very much because uh, I was uh, advanced in Telugu, in English. So that he liked me very much. Uh, in last year, he passed away, I think. Uh, I feel very sad about that one. I felt very sad. So that children, sometimes we are, in also in a, you are also becoming big and elder and you are settled somewhere. Uh, you became, uh, after you become 
in a position uh, this, you also remember your teacher oh this is my english teacher and she is my uh, my uh, telugu teacher or my mathematics teacher oh very good uh, she liked me very much or she gave me prizes you she used to give me prize i got first place in english and so on so you are thinking so so like that this uh, happiest moment uh, ramesh remembered what is the happiest moment or happiest memorable event what is that what is the memorable event they got first prize in science fair understand they got first prize in science fair so that uh, suresh uh, is uh, remember he is remembering to suresh about his uh, schooling and also the and also he felt sad about his son because his son has no time or his son has no friends just his son sit is child sit in 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 the house and uh, uh, used to play with the mobile phone mobile games computer games no other outing out games that is like you uh, in you see in uh, villages people used to play together all the kids uh, gather somewhere and playing uh, so and so small small games you know that is five picks and wall ball ball game and so and so on and girls also are playing some 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 games like that suresh uh, ramesh uh, child has no that uh, uh, enjoyment that that uh, sound enjoyment see so that's why sir ramesh feeling about his child oh my child has no friends my child has no time to spend with others this uh, this room uh, this computer only is friend this uh, this computer game only this friend he is he is feeling about his son my friend always sitting in front of the computer he is doesn't care any person any one because there is no relations they have no really relatives to spend with them so that the boy spends always with the computer only right and also they they went to cricket also in school days the er ramesh uh, remembering his uh, happiest moments they went to cricket where Sri Sailam, Krishna River, and Koyar Sagar. Do you know Koyar Sagar? They went for picnic. Koyar Sagar, Sri Sailam. These are very memorable days, happiest days. The most memorable. And also, Krishna River has always at the dam roaring, river flowing, wild river flowing. Some roaring sound comes. Especially even you even uh, so you you go to uh, if you go to that uh, dam, uh, the uh, water is floating like this. That time. the sound comes very loud sound roaring means loud sound baga pedda shabda ante kanchana anata gajjistu ala roaring river ostu aa sounds unde but my child has no sounds silent child our child is silent that sounds has no in my home in my place that remember sure ramesh remember those days so he said i wonder about my child i wonder my child because He has no, uh, the, he has no time to spend with others. Yeah, there, there is nobody to spend with him. That is Aramesh. One side, he he he, uh, he remember his school days, and he he remember his school days, enjoying the days. And one side, he felt sad about his son. His son has no that situations. That is that is about paragraph four. And come to the paragraph fifth paragraph. I remember happy moments when our uncle visited us. He brought. And come to the fifth paragraph. Uh, just I read. Just you read. You you see the book. Children, look at the book. I remember the happy moments when our uncle visited us. He brought toys and food for us. Our aunt brought me a new dress for the sara. How we were enjoyed Diwali. Still I hear the sound of crackers. i can see the rockets flying into the sky making the night full of light where were those where are those days my child doesn't know his uncle and aunt for him uncle and neighbor are the same here ramesh uh, once again uh, uh, thinking about his uh, uh, childhood days and his relations You know, uh, when he was uh, in Manipur village, in his small in his childhood, his uncle and aunt came, and they one day uh, once uh, his aunt brought them, uh, brought him a new dress, and his uncle used to bring fruits, uh, biscuits, and all these edible items, some food. 
So this this Ramesh remembered this and he felt very happy. Oh, in my village, I was in small in the childhood. Um, my uncle used to come, my aunt came and she brought me new dress. Suresh, do you remember those? It's a very happiest moment, memorable moment, said Ramesh to Suresh. And also, he, he, he remembered his Dasara festival. Do you know Dasara festival? Nine days festival. Do you know that? And also Diwali. Do you know Deepavali, Deepavali or Diwali? Just a cracker festival, no? So remember, Suresh remembered all these nine days Dasara festival and this cracker, Diwali festival, crackers, lightnings, all these thunders uh, in the sky. And also, he, he remembered the night time, uh, stars twinkling and the, the rockets moving. And all this uh, atmosphere, uh, and all these uh, happiest moments, Suresh remembering. It's okay. Ramesh remembering. It's okay. And in the end, para, the end of this para, oh, he, he, he feels sad about his son. This son has no this type of enjoyment. His son has no relations. No relatives came to him. No relatives used to come to his home. Nobody come to his house. Because... They are busy with them. They are, they are not able to invite anyone at home. So this boy has no aunt, no uncle. They are, they are, but he is, he is not experienced them. So this boy has no aunt, no uncle. Who is aunt and uncle? That is Atta and Mama or Pinti and uh, Babai. Who is uh, for him? The neighbors only. Let me share that. Uh, uh, hi, uh, uh, hi Suresh. See, my, my childhood. Ma, 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 ta, ma, 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 auntie, pinni, uncle, wala, chya, wala, kada. But, uh, ma, happy ga unde di. Na, ma, 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 ki, ma, chayil ka vay me. Le, te le, du. Ma, chayil ka, ta, ma, ma, auntie, uncle, and kya, Neighbors, pakka, wale. Pakki, inti, wale, wale, auntie, uncle, bandhu, lente, te le, du. So, in this fifth para, Ramesh explains about relations. Bandhu, bandha, vya, le, kananda, ne. Understand? And come to the next paragraph. Sometimes I think of our childhood days. I think of grandparents, uncle, brothers, sisters. We missed them. We missed the joy of the family. We missed their company. We missing many things in busy life. So uh, he felt about missing all the people. I missed my brother. I'm I missing my sisters. I'm missing my friends. And all in my village. Because of this busy world, I'm missing all the people. So Sri Ramesh felt, Ramesh feels very sad, very uneasy about the missing of the people. I'm, I'm in Hyderabad. I was, I'm busy with my job. I'm busy, full day, full busy with my job, on uh, my, with computers. I have no time to meet them. I have no time to see them. I have no time to write them. This is all about thinking. And he feels, I miss them. I miss my brothers. I miss my sisters. I miss my aunties. I miss my uncles and all this. So he, 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 is, uh, uh, he feels something missing in his life. He feels he was missing something in his life. This is about the paragraph. And come to the last paragraph. Remember, come to the last paragraph. Suresh, Suresh, I don't know where those gardens have gone. Those fairy tales, those fruit, those words of love and affection. We have lost our real life in this unreal world. Anyhow, I am happy that I have found time to write you. Please come to me. Let's remember our childhood days of joy. Here Suresh, once again Suresh, uh, remembering his garden. Suresh had a, a garden in his childhood in Manikonda village. In that garden, they used to play, uh, they, they, they eat fruits, uh, uh, vegetables. They, very, they, they live together, love and affection. Amma ma thadhi, love and affection to kadal jippe wali. A thought ala aadu kuri happy ka unde wali. Suresh, avani akka kelpe indra, a thought akka kelpe indra, ane chaala fira hotuna. So, here, Sure, Ramesh remembered his childhood days in Manikonda village. Past life. He past life. He remembered uh, his past life. And also the main theme of the lesson is, just underline, note this point. We have lost our real life in, a, in this unreal world. We have lost our real life in this unreal world. And then, what is the real reality? What is reality? What is naturality? We missed it. We lost it. In this unreal world. What is the real world? What is the busy world? Ramesh, Suresh, Bhattho, Ilyatalu, Rastu, Narmata.
This is the theme of the lesson. Underline. We have lost our real life in this unreal world. Right? So, Vastaka Prapancham, Avastaka Prapanchavalo, Asahaja Prapanchavalo, Busy Prapanchavalo, Vastaka Tanu, Sahajatwan, and Kolpoyamo. And eh, Ramesh Badapatta, the Midrike, Lake Rastana. Finally, he invited Suresh to his home, his place, Hyderabad, and he told him to let's enjoy our childhood days. Okasari Hyderabad Rara, Madhra happy ga childhood days with Chesconi, Marla India Chedda, Marla Mid Chadda Mani, Sureshni, Ramesh, Eroy Chest. So your loving friend, Ramesh. So Ramesh, Sureshki Lekara Sadu, Putana Bali and Buches Kuntu, then a friend in the Kalskun and the Ku, a one new body Bagdana and Yapan Jes Kuntu. Life and the busy in the unreal world, the yard in the lap, all both and ado, but the friend again, like a answer. Children, once again, I am uh, giving, uh, I am explaining the lessons uh, very uh, general. I, I give the oral explanation about the lesson. Uh, in the first lesson, he wants to remember that all the lesson uh, talks about childhood days, all the lesson about past childhood child life that is Ramesh and Suresh life. Even paragraph, paragraph, I give you small, small titles. In first para, he remembered the childhood days. That means how he spent, how he enjoyed in childhood days, commonly. And second para, his job life and busy life. And third para, his sports in childhood. Are you understanding? No doubt. And fourth paragraph, <coughs> he uh, is schooling. In fourth paragraph, he is uh, telling about his schooling, how he spent in school days, how he got, uh, he got prizes and uh, memorable days, the school days. Yeah. And that, then he talks about relations, relatives, how he spent with relations. And, uh, and then uh, next, how he misses the people, how he was missing the people, how he is missing his family members. And last, in, he concluded that all his childhood, one is unreal world. In this unreal world, we are missing reality. We are losing real life. So, all childhood days, Suresh compared his child life. Tana Bali Dinarun to Gutkechkundu, A Bali Dinaruni, Tana Ba, Tana Pilava, Tana Bidatha Polskori, Tana Bidda, Allah, Munda to Lady and Jacek Ledu. Like a frog in the well. Well in the well, like a frog. Bowla Kapala Utana, Ma, Bidani, Tanu, Tana Ba, Tana Boy, Baby Koda, Tan childhood days compared to Skuni, Ramesh Chala, sad the Firo. This is all about the lesson C reading added to your friend. So these friends, uh, this Ramesh expresses his views, ideas, and emotions and his feelings uh, about, about childhood and his mistakes also he explained. This is the lesson about C reading. Children, I, I hope that you understood the lesson very well uh, and you came to an idea about the lesson. I think uh, yeah, you are doing what uh, well what work is given to you now uh, i th uh, thank you for listening to me and also uh, in the previous class i have given the homework some of you posted me uh, uh, the, i corrected them they did well thank you children uh, some of you not they did so try to do uh, homework try to write the homework you practice the homework at home that's your duty that's your responsibility children so don't miss it uh, now i give you the homework that is write down no doubt. Imagine you are Ramesh. Imagine you are Ramesh. You are living in Hyderabad. You was unable to meet your friend when he visited Hyderabad. Now write your feelings. A daily note. See, write a daily entry about Ramesh feelings in his childhood. Imagine you are Ramesh. Write a daily entry note about your childhood days. Until you Ramesh ka feel aye, no Hyderabad lo unto ni friend ni missa yawa kals ko leka. Apur childhood days guru chala friend ki explanation days yawa. Abuse, idea, feelings so no daily entry dega raiye. That is okay, right? I think you understood the homework also. I hope you are uh, doing homework and uh, post it. Understand? That's all. Now, children, do you know how to write daily entry? Ma'am, we have given daily entry, ma'am. But we are unable to write, ma'am. How to write daily entry, ma'am? We don't know, ma'am. In 60 on class, okay, so on. Okay. Simply we write, we get marks, ma'am. But no, we don't know. We don't have any clear idea or a clear note about this daily entry. 
so that's why children some of you know well good and some of you didn't know well about this uh, doesn't know about this daily entry so i will give you small very uh, clear explanation very in a simple manner in a simple way how to write a daily entry how to write a daily entry just note down how to write a daily entry still learn before writing daily entry i ask you a question do you know how many summer words yes daily two words are there can anyone guess that same word pronunciation daily here we have the word daily here this is d i a r y d i a r y daily and the daily is there d a i r y do you know that uh, what is difference between this uh, d i a r y d a i r y do you know difference okay i think you know well so d a i r y daily means is that d a i r y daily means milk products a place of milk products paala utpathula kendramo we can we go to dairy and made uh, bring uh, bring milk curd cheese uh, butter something something milk products no and d i a r y dairy means in the dairy chariya Uh, we can say clear the meaning that is here now we are teaching we are learning about d i a r y right children remember that okay right okay d i a r y daily means it is a record of it is a record of a personal account of events thoughts and feelings and the, that the writer has experienced understand so daily means a record of a personally account of events first the feelings first the emotions first the events first the thoughts avanni man record chesukodanne diary entry understand children ante evariki vallu not about others yourself myself naaku nenu ga meeku meeru ga evariki vallu ga mana personal experiences ni personal feelings ni emotions ni my personal views ni అవన్నీ మనం రాసుకోవడాన్ని రికార్డ్ చేసుకోవడాన్ని రాసి ఒక చోట పెట్టుకోవడాన్ని డైరీ ఎంట్రీ అంట అండర్స్టాండ్ సో డైరీ ఎంట్రీ మస్ట్ బి పర్సనల్ యువర్ సెల్ఫ్ మై సెల్ఫ్ నీకు నీకుగా ఉండాలి నాకు నీకుగా ఉండాలి నో 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 యూస్ ఆఫ్ రైటింగ్ అదర్స్ వేరే వాళ్ళు చెన్నడం రాయకూడదు సో వెన్ యూ రైట్ డైరీ ఎంట్రీ డైరీ ఎంట్రీ ఎప్పుడు రాస్తాము సమ్ సమ్ పీపుల్ యూ యూజ్ write daily in their daily life see for example uh, my mama is there he used to write daily every day he writes daily every day night he sit on the cot and i used to uh, write daily uh, daily and also my father also he was not here he uh, passed away uh, he also write daily see nowadays nobody writing daily you can uh, find out be elderly people pedda vallu daily rastu untar even now also i am experienced my mama he also uh, writing daily so daily means what is daily record of events ante mana jeevithamlo edanna jarigi unte oka situation oka event is a memorable event either it is sad or good oka happiest or sad moment a uh, is a memorable event oka mana gurtinchuko dagara marchipolena sangatha mana jeevitha daginappudu daani gurinchi raayadani daani gurinchi gurtu pettuko raayadani daily anta understand ma for example we have a birthday we celebrate the birthday very well అప్పుడు ఏం చేస్తాం మనం ఆ రోజు ఈవినింగ్ అది మెమరబుల్ మూమెంట్ ఇన్ అవర్ లైఫ్ వెడ్డింగ్ డే మెమరబుల్ మూమెంట్ ఇన్ అవర్ లైఫ్ ఆర్ సపోజ్ రమేష్ గాడ్ ప్రైజ్ ఇన్ సైన్స్ ఫేర్ ఇన్ చైల్డ్ హుడ్ దట్ డే రమేష్ డ్రో డైరీ సి లైక్ దట్ మెమరబుల్ మూమెంట్స్ మెమరబుల్ ఈవెంట్స్ మెమరబుల్ ఫీలింగ్స్ మెమరబుల్ థాట్స్ మన మైండ్లో ఉన్నప్పుడు డైరీ రాస్తాం సార్ బట్ బట్ ఫర్ పీపుల్ ఆ డైలీ రైటింగ్ డైరీస్ కొంతమంది రోజు రాస్తారు కదా ఇప్పుడు చెప్పే కదా పెద్దవాళ్ళు రోజు రాస్తారు మరి వాళ్ళు ఏం చేస్తారు మెమరబుల్ అంటే ఆ డే మొత్తంలో ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఐటమ్స్ ఏమని రాసుకుంటారు ఆ డే మొత్తంలో ఈరోజు మెయిన్ 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 పాయింట్స్ ఎక్కువ ఏమి ఇంపార్టెన్స్ ఉన్నాయో వాటిని రాస్తారు ఈరోజు నేనే రా ఆ రోజు డే మొత్తం ఏంటి మనం ఓల్ డే రేట్ ఏముంటుంది జస్ట్ వేకప్ టేకింగ్ బ్రేక్ఫాస్ట్ టేకింగ్ లంచ్ గో టు జాబ్ సో అండ్ సో సింప్లీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ వర్క్ సంథింగ్ సంథింగ్ దట్స్ ఓకే మరి వాట్ దే ఆర్ లైక్ దే యూస్ రైట్ ఇన్ డైరీస్ వాళ్ళు ఏం రాస్తారంటే ఆ రోజు ఏదైనా మెమరబుల్ డిస్ట్ అయితే ఏదైనా ఏదైనా స్పెషాలిటీ ఉంటే అది ఇట్ ఈస్ గుడ్ ఆర్ బ్యాడ్ రాస్తాం ఈ డైరీస్ వల్ల మనకు చాలా యూజ్ 
ఆఫ్టర్ ఫ్యూ ఇన్ ఇన్ ఫ్యూచర్ వీ కెన్ ఐడెంటిఫై హౌ ఈజ్ హౌ ఈజ్ ద లైఫ్ ఆ డైరీ చూసుకుని మనము అతను ఆ ఇప్పుడు ఆ రోజు ఇతనికి ఇలా జరిగింది ఓ ఈ రోజు అని మన డే టు డేని ఆ ఇన్స్ అయితే మనం కాలప్ చేయొచ్చు అండర్స్టాండ్ దట్ ఈస్ అబౌట్ డైరీ గౌట్ సో డైరీ ఈజ్ ఎ పర్సనల్ అకౌంట్ ఆఫ్ ఈవెంట్స్ అండ్ థాట్స్ రికార్డ్ ఆఫ్ పర్సనల్ ఈవెంట్స్ పర్సనల్ థాట్స్ అండ్ ఫీలింగ్స్ ఎమోషన్స్ ఆల్సో యూ కెన్ రైట్ ఎమోషనల్ గా ఉండాలి అండర్స్టాండ్ దట్ ఈస్ డైరీ నవ్ ఐ థింక్ దాట్ చిల్డ్రన్ యూ గాట్ ఐడియా అబౌట్ డైరీ యూ అండర్స్టాండ్ ఐ థింక్ దట్స్ ఆ నెక్స్ట్ హౌ హౌ టు రైట్ డైరీ ఎలా రాయాలి డైరీ ఎలా రాయాలి మీన్స్ ఐ డోంట్ హౌ టు రైట్ దట్ మీన్స్ ఫస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ డైరీ స్టార్ట్స్ లెఫ్ట్ ఆఫ్ ది టాప్ ఆఫ్ ద లెఫ్ట్ దట్ మీన్స్ దిస్ ఇస్ పేజ్ ఇట్ ఈ లెఫ్ట్ పార్ట్ లెఫ్ట్ సైడ్ టాప్ జస్ట్ యూ రైట్ డేట్ యూ రైట్ డేట్ దెన్ డే అండ్ దెన్ టైమ్ డేట్ డే టైమ్ దీస్ త్రీ షుడ్ రైట్ టాప్ ఆఫ్ ద లెఫ్ట్ లెఫ్ట్ పేజీ లెఫ్ట్ సైడ్ పేజీ టాప్ లో మీరు ఫస్ట్ డేట్ రాయాలి దెన్ డే వేయాలి అండ్ దెన్ టైం రాయాలి డేట్ హౌ టు రైట్ డేట్ డోంట్ రైట్ ట్వంటీ సిక్స్ సిక్స్ టూ థౌజండ్ ట్వంటీ వన్ డోంట్ రైట్ దట్ జస్ట్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు రైట్ ద డేట్ ట్వంటీ సిక్స్ అండ్ దెన్ నేమ్ ఆఫ్ ద మంత్ మే ఆర్ జూన్ అండ్ దెన్ ఇయర్ టూ థౌజండ్ ట్వంటీ వన్ డోంట్ రైట్ లైక్ దిస్ ట్వంటీ సిక్స్ సిక్స్ టూ థౌజండ్ ట్వంటీ వన్ ఆర్ అలా రాయకూడదు ఇరవై ఆరు ఆరు రెండు వేల ఇరవై ఒకటి ఆర్ పది టెన్ ఫైవ్ టూ థౌజండ్ ట్వంటీ డోంట్ రైట్ దట్ జస్ట్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు రైట్ కంప్లీట్ డేట్ దట్ మీన్స్ ట్వంటీ సిక్స్ జూన్ టూ థౌజండ్ ట్వంటీ వన్ ఆర్ ఫైవ్ సిక్స్ టూ థౌజండ్ ట్వంటీ లైక్ దట్ లైక్ దట్ దిస్ ఇస్ ద రైట్ వే డోంట్ రైట్ దిస్ యూ లూజ్ మార్క్స్ లైక్ దట్ ఇఫ్ యూ రైట్ లైక్ దిస్ దిస్ ఇస్ ద డేట్ అండ్ దెన్ రైట్ వాట్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు రైట్ డే రైట్ డే యూ హ్యావ్ టు రైట్ డే డే మీన్స్ వాట్ మండే ఆర్ సండే సాటర్డే ట్యూస్డే లైక్ దట్ డోంట్ రైట్ షార్ట్ ఫామ్ మన్ ట్యూస్ వెడ్ థస్ డోంట్ రైట్ కంప్లీట్ డే నేమ్ రాయ అంటే ఆ రోజు ఏ రోజు పూర్తిగా రాయాలి సోమ మంగళ బుధ డోంట్ రైట్ లైక్ దట్ హౌ టు రైట్ మండే ఫుల్ నేమ్ సాటర్డే ఆర్ సండే ఆర్ వెనస్డే ఆర్ ఫ్రైడే అండర్స్టాండ్ లైక్ దట్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు రైట్ దెన్ టైమ్ యూ కెన్ రైట్ టైమ్ హౌ కెన్ యూ రైట్ హౌ డి రైట్ హౌ డు యూ రైట్ మీన్స్ దట్ ఈస్ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ యూఆర్ రైటింగ్ మార్నింగ్ టైమ్ సెవెన్ థర్టీ ఏఎం ఆర్ నైన్ థర్టీ ఏఎం టెన్ ఏఎం లెవెన్ ఏఎం ట్వెల్త్ లెవెన్ థర్టీ ఏఎం లైక్ ఆర్ ట్వెల్వ్ ఓ క్లాక్ ఆఫ్టర్నూన్ సెషన్ యూ కెన్ రైట్ త్రీ పిఎం ఫోర్ థర్టీ పిఎం ఫైవ్ థర్టీ పిఎం ఎయిట్ థర్టీ పిఎం చిన్న యూజువలీ డైలీస్ రైట్ ఇన్ నైట్స్ ఓన్లీ ఈవినింగ్స్ రాస్తారు ఎందుకంటే మార్నింగ్ అంతా ఏం జరిగిందో ఆ రోజు జనరల్ ఈవినింగ్ రాస్తారు మార్నింగ్ రాస్తే ఇది డే మొత్తం దినచర్య దట్ ఈస్ నేమ్ దినచర్య అని తెలుగులో తెలుగులో దినచర్య అంటాం కదా సో మార్నింగ్ అంతా ఏం జరిగిందో అయిపోయిన తర్వాత రాస్తాం ఆ ఈవినింగ్ రాసుకుంటాం డే మొత్తం ఏమైందో యాక్చువల్లీ ఎక్కువ పర్సెంట్ ఈవినింగ్ రాస్తారు సో యూ జస్ట్ బెటర్ టు మెన్షన్ ద టైమ్ ఇన్ ఈవినింగ్స్ ఈ కెన్ రైట్ నైన్ థర్టీ పిఎం ఎయిట్ థర్టీ పిఎం ఆర్ సెవెన్ పిఎం టెన్ పిఎం మెనీ పీపుల్ రైట్స్ డైలీ బిఫోర్ బెడ్డింగ్ చాలా మంది బెడ్ 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 టైంకి అంటే పడుకోబోయే ముందు రాస్తారు అనమాట డే మొత్తం ఏం జరిగిందో రాసుకుంటారు సో ఈవినింగ్స్ ఎక్కువ రాస్తారు మార్నింగ్ అంతే జరిగింది సో యూ కెన్ రైట్ మార్నింగ్ అయితే ఏఎం ఈవినింగ్ పిఎం రాయాలి ఆర్ ఎల్స్ యూ కెన్ రైట్ ట్వంటీ ఫోర్ అవర్స్ టైమ్స్ దట్ ఈస్ సెవెన్ అవర్స్ ఎయిట్ అవర్స్ ఆర్ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ నౌ ద టైమ్ ఈస్ ఫోర్ ఓ క్లాక్ ఐ థింక్ ఫోర్ ఓ క్లాక్ హౌ కెన్ యూ రైట్ ఫోర్ అవర్స్ అండ్ డోంట్ రైట్ ఫోర్ అవర్స్ దట్ ఈస్ సిక్స్టీన్ అవర్స్ త్రీ ఓ క్లాక్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ అవర్స్ ఫర్ త్రీ థర్టీ ఈవినింగ్ త్రీ థర్టీ ఫిఫ్టీన్ థర్టీ అవర్స్ యూ కెన్ నో యూ డో డూ యూ నో రైల్వే టైమింగ్స్ ట్వంటీ ఫోర్ అవర్స్ ట్వంటీ టూ టెన్ మినిట్స్ ట్వంటీ త్రీ అవర్స్ ఫైవ్ మినిట్స్ లైక్ దట్ దట్ టైమ్ ఆల్సో యూ కెన్ యూస్ వన్ టు ట్వంటీ ఫోర్ అవర్స్ ఐ మీన్ వన్ టు ట్వంటీ ఫోర్ అవర్స్ మార్నింగ్ ట్వెల్వ్ అవర్ టు ట్వెల్వ్ అవర్స్ ఆఫ్టర్ ట్వెల్వ్ ఓ క్లాక్ ఎగ్జైట్ థర్టీన్ ఫోర్టీన్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ సిక్స్టీన్ థర్టీ ట్వంటీ ఫోర్ సో సిక్స్టీన్ అవర్స్ ఆర్ ఫైవ్ సో సపోజ్ ఫైవ్ థర్టీ సెవెంటీన్ థర్టీ అవర్స్ సపోజ్ యూ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ రైట్ ఈవినింగ్ సెవెన్ థర్టీ ఓ కెన్ రైట్ నైన్టీన్ థర్టీ అవర్స్ ఆర్ ఆర్ సెకండ్ పూర్ట్ ఆర్
real diary. That is, this is real diary. Remember, D, both D, D's are in capital letters. D, in D, D, capital D, I, I, R, diary, D, capital. So, don't write small letters. D, I, R, diary. You look at here. D, I, R, diary. So, D, I, R, diary. Understand? D, I, R, D, capital. Diary, no? Diary, capital. Write D, I, R, diary. And then, uh, that is citation. After that, we have to describe the, start the uh, first line, first sentence with a memorable sentence. Memorable. Discuss the day. Describing the memorable feelings. For example, it is a sad day. Just, today is very sad for me. Or it is the happiest day. Today is the happiest day. Very joyful day. Today is a memorable day. A memorable, memory flow, a memorable flow, whether it is good or sad. Miru, ala gutti chudana day special and tea. Happy na, sad na gutti chudana. Today is memorable day. In my life. Today is very bad day for my life. It is not a bad, sad day. Or oh, today is very happy day. Ramesh, how, can, how did Ramesh write? Today is good. Today is happiest day. Today is memorable day in my life. I got first prize in science play. I never forget this day. That is, it starts like that. And then, after that, you can write the content. What is content? You can write the feelings or your emotion. You can write the conversation with your what? Where? How I lost this day? How I enjoyed this day? What a bad day this is? Uh, why this teacher scold me? Uh, why I, I faced this problem? And questioning you. Conversation questions to you say that. Future plan in a simple paragraph. Okay, simple, okay, single paragraph, daily, don't write many paragraphs, simple paragraph, uh, limited with 80 to 100 words, 80 to 100 words, 80 to 100 words, so single paragraph only writes, don't write paragraphs like biographical sketch or any essay, essay laga, biographical sketch laga, paragraphs karai gurudu, single paragraph raya li, 80 to 100 words with the self that is, uh, that's all, simple on that, don't write long, long sentences, simple sentences with 80 to 100 words, with a single paragraph, don't write more paragraphs. Understand? That is, uh, your feelings, emotions, thoughts, ideas, sad feelings, happy feelings, whatever it is. And also future plans. Right. Future plans and incidents are in the situation to happy or no. Next thing is better than the plan was for it. Sadness and type. So next to Allah Jarakon aim plan here. So, plan good is good. Ending your plan one. That is. And then the tense. Which tense you have to use? Simple past tense. And then present perfect tense. And then future tense. These two, these three you can use. No other tense should not use. So, simple past tense already your, already your teachers has told you. And present perfect tense. Future tense. Simple tense means subject, verb two, object. Subject has, have three, object. Then subject will verb object. These three tenses you have to use. Simple past tense on dali, then the present perfect tense the word dali. Then future tense for what go? Just the kind of thing. I have told you no future plan. According to the situation, how would you plan? This under one another day in the garden. Next year, what are plans you have? If you do the job, go to the laga. If you are not able to do the job, you have to do the job. What you have to do? Think about the future. Regard the situation. You have to measure it. That is right. And then use first person only. We are first person or other. We are not Already previous I, I introduced you. You should be personal. So always write about yourself. How you felt. How you thought. How you emotion. How you have got emotion toward the situation. Me guru chera yaani. Me ne la feel yaano. Me ne la unna. Me na kila jari gizi. So ne la anukurtu na ne. Write about yourself. Don't write any others. 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 Write only first person. That is I or we. I or we first person matra or other. It is very, very, very important. Don't write he, she, something, something. And then come to conclusion. Conclusion should have give you a final remark or a future course of action. Final remark means chapakada. A situation ki future la final ka we have decided just for What did you learn about the situation? What did you learn about this event? Either it is good, it is sad. A good situation, bad situation, or bird day, or sad day, whatever it is. You know, finally, the answer is, you have to plan your school. That is, you have to write. 
See, for example, today is your body. Your father's tablet is very well. Your body, my name is a lot of things. Uh, and the other friends are having dinner parties. Then, what do you do? You just stay in the house and rest. Oh, this is my body. It's very happy. My dad is very really lovely. He celebrated the birthday very happy. Grand manner. You are uh, doing all this, right? Uh, while the rest of the time, the father is very much in this kind of situation. Happiest moment, Gavati. In the future, you have planned this. Oh, you saw the extra body, you know. ఇంకా బాగా చేసుకుంటాను ఈ బడి ఇది మిస్ అయ్యి ఇంకిసారి ఇలా బాగా చేసుకుంటాను ఇలా ఇలాంటి ఇలాంటి బాగా చేసి ఇంక ఎన్నో నాకు జరగాలి అలా ఫ్యూచర్ ప్లాన్ దా ఆ సిచ్యువేషన్లో నువ్వు ఏమి నేర్చుకున్నావో ఆ నేర్చుకున్నది ఫ్యూచర్ ప్లాన్గా రాసుకో అండర్స్టాండ్ చిల్డ్ర గాట్ ఐడియా రిమార్కబుల్ ఫైనల్ రిమార్క్ అంటే దట్ ఈస్ ఆల్ అబౌట్ ఆ దిస్ ఈజ్ అబౌట్ దిస్ డైరీ ఎంట్రీ అండ్ రాష్ట్ర ఫైనల్ క్వశ్చన్ డైరీ ఎంట్రీ షుడ్ బీ నే క్రానికల్ ఆర్డర్ ఇన్ ఎ బాక్స్ మీరు బాక్స్తో రాయాలి క్రానికల్ ఆర్డర్లో ఉండాలి మీరు ఇంత రాశారు కదా ఒక ఈవెంట్ డిస్కస్ చేస్తున్నారు మీ బాడీ పార్టీ నుంచి ఈరోజు జరిగింది ఈవెంట్ రాస్తున్నారు ఆ ఎంట్రీ రాస్తున్నారు డైరీ ఎంట్రీ రాస్తున్నప్పుడు అది క్రాలాజికల్గా ఉండాలి క్రాలాజికల్ మీన్స్ కాలానుబంధంగా అంటే స్టెప్ వైజ్గా ఫస్ట్ ఏం జరిగింది ఆ నెక్స్ట్ ఏం జరిగింది ఆ నెక్స్ట్ ఏం జరిగింది అట్లా క్రాలాజికల్గా అంటే ఒక కాలానుకృతంగా రాయాలన్నమాట సి ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ నీ బాడీ జరిగింది బాడీలో ఫస్ట్ ఏం జరుగుతుంది ఫ్రెండ్స్ వస్తారు దెన్ వాట్ నెక్స్ట్ కేక్ అటింగ్ అండ్ దెన్ డిన్నర్ అండ్ దెన్ గిఫ్ట్స్ అండ్ ఆల్ దిస్ So right, or don't write directly, oh, today is my birthday, dinner, I went for dinner, uh, so many people are, don't write. So, if you have an order, what are you doing? If you have a situation, you can ask an order. See, for example, today your English teacher scolded you in the class, you, you did not write homework. If you have homework, you can ask an English teacher in the class. You can ask an English teacher. So, how did you feel? Write your feelings in a daily internet. Daily feelings in a daily internet. You can ask an English teacher. You can ask an English teacher. ఎలా రాస్తారమ్మా మీరు చెప్పండి రమ్జీ హౌ డి రైట్ ఎలా రాస్తారు హౌ డి యూ రైట్ ఎలా రాస్తారు అబ్బా టీచర్ కొట్టింది ఐ ఫీల్ డోంట్ రైట్ దట్ ఓ టుడే నేను క్లాస్కి వెళ్ళాను బా ద టీచర్ కేమ్ టీచర్ వచ్చారు నన్ను నుంచోబెట్టారు నన్ను క్వశ్చన్ అడిగారు హోంవర్క్ అడిగారు నేను రాయలేదు కాబట్టి చూపెట్టలేదు దాన్ని కొట్టారు అలా ఆర్డర్లో రాయాలి ఇంకా డైరెక్ట్గా ఆ రోజు టీచర్ కొట్టారు ఓ నేను చాలా బాధపడతాను అలా అనుకూడదు అనమాట సో క్రాలాజికల్ ఆర్డర్ మీన్స్ ఫస్ట్ సిట్ ఏం జరిగిందో అలా ఆర్డర్లో రాసుకుంటా రావాలన్నమాట సిచ్యువేషనల్ ఆర్డర్లో రాయాలి అండర్స్టాండ్ చిల్డ్ దట్ ఈస్ ఇట్ షుడ్ బీ ద బాక్స్ బాక్స్లో ఉండాలి అండ్ కమ్ టు ద లాస్ట్ పాయింట్ ఈ లెఫ్ట్ సైడ్ ఆఫ్ ది పేజ్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు సైన్ మీ నేమ్ రాసి సైన్ చేయండి కింద మీ పేరు రమ్యానా రోజీనా లలిత సంథింగ్ సంథింగ్ యూ షుడ్ రైట్ యువర్ నేమ్ లెఫ్ట్ సైడ్ ఆఫ్ ద డైరీలో so it is the order of the diary how to write a diary now you got a clear idea about diary writing diary entry how to write diary entry children understood i think understood you got idea about diary note right adha venna amma baga ela rayalo so this is all the steps how to write diary entry it is meaning record of a uh, personal events personal thoughts and feelings and emotions also and then uh, left side of the uh, part of the page write date day and time correctly and then citation dear diary with capital letters and then situation discuss the situation akkada so em jarigindi situation chronological ga rayali idu aa roju em jarigindi happy moment ante happy moment or sad moment ante adi order lo rasukuntu ravali then simple past tense present perfect tense on future tenses maatrame varalu le entry lo chaala small sentences rayali ఇంకొక చెప్పాను మీకు ఇక్కడ ఐ డిడ్ నాట్ మెన్షన్ చేయాలి జస్ట్ యువర్ రైట్ ఏ కాన్వర్జేషన్ అంటే మాట్లాడుతూ రాయాలి ఇక క్వశ్చనింగ్ టైప్లో వాట్ ఏ బ్యూటిఫుల్ డే టుడే వాట్ ఏ హ్యాపీస్ డే వాట్ ఏ మెమరబుల్ డే హౌ ఐ ఫెల్ట్ హ్యాపీ అట్లా ఆ క్వశ్చనింగ్ చేస్తూ అలా ఎక్స్ట్రా ఎక్స్ప్లెమేటరీ టైప్లో రాయాలన్నమాట కాన్వర్జేషన్ అంటే మాట్లాడుతున్నట్టు రాయాలి డైరీ అండర్స్టాండ్ చిల్డ్ ఎస్ ఆల్సో యూజింగ్ మై కన్స్ట్రక్షన్స్ అండ్ దెన్ ఫస్ట్ పర్సన్ మాత్రమే వాడాలి డైరీ నోట్లో ఆ తర్వాత కంక్లూజన్లో ఫైనల్ రిమార్క్ మీరు ఆ సిచ్యువేషన్ ద్వారా మీరు ఏం నేర్చుకున్నారు ఫ్యూచర్లో ఏం ప్లాన్ చేస్తారు దాన్ని గురించి దృష్టించుకుని ఎలా ఉండాలనుకున్నారో జస్ట్ ఫైనల్ రిమార్క్ ఫ్యూచర్ ప్లాన్తో క్లోజ్ చేయాలి ఈ షుడ్ బీ ఇన్ ఏ బాక్స్ బాక్స్లో ఉండాలి దట్ ఈస్ ఆల్ అబౌట్ డైరీ నోట్ సో చిల్డ్రన్ యూ డిడ్ వెల్ ఐ థింక్ యూ డూ వెల్ యూ అండర్స్టాండ్ ద టాపిక్స్ దిస్ ఇస్ ఆల్ అబౌట్ ద డైరీ నోట్ సో థ్యాంక్ యూ వన్ అండ్ ఆల్ డూ గుడ్ వెరీ Do the homework at home. Study well. Don't waste time. Okay, na? Thank you. Good.